Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we'll be talking about Megadeth's brand new album The Sick, The Dying and The Dead. Let's get to it. Alright, welcome back. So Megadeth has just released a brand new album The Sick, The Dying and The Dead. And if you are a subscriber of my channel and you watch most of my unboxing videos, um, I'm always kind of um, saying good things about any new album released and that's not just because I'm trying to uh, give a false review, that's mostly because I'm being absolutely genuine about the music that I listen to and how I review it. And I'm a huge Megadeth fan, I've got everything, I've got all of their albums, I've got all of their box collections as well and I tell you what, right from the get go. Unfortunately, this album is a flop. Uh, this album is not a good album. Um, and <laughs> I've been waiting for months for this album to come out. The singles that were released were amazing. They were just amazing. But the rest of the album... I tell you what, I would rather listen to Metallica's latest two releases from the past two decades. Yep, shots fired. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to unbox the CD, look at the booklet and see what's inside it. Alright, so the booklet is cool, um, as one can imagine. Um, the issue I've got with this album is that it just doesn't sound like Megadeth. And in my interpretation is, part of that has to do with uh, the fact that Dave Mustaine allowed other writers to contribute, uh, including Kiko and, um, and Dirk. And, and, and look, I've got nothing against uh, Kiko and Dirk and, and they're amazing musicians. Um, but Megadeth has a specific style and, and this is why Dave Mustaine is always in charge of actually producing all the records. Uh, I tell you what, the worst Megadeth album for me and for a lot of fans out there has been Risk. But I would rather listen to Risk, to be honest, because there are cringing moments on this album. Saying all of this stuff, um, I would also like to point out that music is very subjective and just because I think it's, it's not a good album, you may think otherwise. You may think this album is great, and which is great. Kudos to you. Um, and for that purpose, I highly recommend that you guys actually uh, listen to this album uh, maybe on YouTube or anywhere else where you can actually uh, listen to it for free before purchasing this album because this is uh, either going to be an acquired taste or it's either going to be a complete flop. I actually pre-ordered a vinyl version uh, of this album but after listening to it on Apple Music I decided to um, cancel my vinyl pre-order and just get the CD. So the cool thing about this CD is that it comes with two additional tracks. Uh, this Planet's on Fire um, and Dystopia Live version. If you listen to this album on iTunes, uh, you'll get to hear another track called Police Truck, uh, which is a cover and, and it's done very well by Megadeth. So that's it guys. Um, unfortunately, um, 
yeah, I don't really have a lot of nice things to say about this album, but I could be absolutely wrong. And and apart from that, it's just my opinion, and you may, and your opinion may differ from mine, uh, because that's how music is. You know, there are certain things that we like, and others don't like. And um, but usually there's a general consensus, and I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if majority of the people are gonna say that this album is not good so anyways thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure to like comment and subscribe and also hit that bell button so you'll get notified every time i post a new video i'll catch you guys next time keep it metal